guys morning to you all today is yet another day we thank god and we are grateful for a new dawn and today's activity will basically be touring the city of arusha and just be able to uh, appreciate the way of life of the locals and to just get impressions of the city so first things first let's have our breakfast and I really love the breakfast package in this place. They serve you fruits. And then after that, they'll serve you the main breakfast. Very delicious. So um, we are currently on our way to the city center. We are trying to look for a bus or a matachi that's going to the city center. And we just opted to use uh, public names rather than private so that we can just um, appreciate the way of life of the locals. A few minutes later, we arrived at the city center. And let me tell you, this matatus park people to capacity yo. Anyway, we are here and we are ready to explore the city. So let's go! So guys, did you know that Tanzania is the only place in the world to source the Tanzanite mineral? And these mines can only be found in Tanzania in a place called Simanjiro District of Manyara region and it's a very small mining area uh, near the Merani Hills. This was a Sunday so the streets were a bit uh, deserted but I suppose this place is more uh, vibrant during the week. <laughs> Nini? <laughs> Sukuma Road, Sokoine Road. We have just discovered a very significant landmark here in Tanzania as I was just exploring the Uhuru Declaration Monument. You can see it from afar. So I'm just going to check it out. The Uhuru torch means Mwenge wa Uhuru in Swahili. It is one of the national symbols of Tanzania. It is a kerosene torch which symbolizes freedom and light. It was first lit on top of Mount Kilimanjaro on December 9th, 1961. Symbolically, this torch is supposed to shine the country and across the borders to bring hope where there's despair, love where there's enmity, and respect where there's hatred. The area around this monument is well maintained and gated, and entrance is Tanzanian shillings 500, uh, you can get in and you'll be able to be taken through the whole uh, history of this Uhuru monument. So these grounds can be hired by different groups uh, for different occasions and we have the prizes for that in the entrance. We are now heading to the Cultural Heritage Center. Welcome to an unbelievable experience of cultural heritage. 
So this is the Cultural Heritage Center and it's the first of its kind in Africa dedicated towards exploring the rich treasures derived from the African culture. You can catch my whole experience touring this center in one of my episodes, but I'll drop a link of the same in the bio. So we are now back in the city center, but now we decided to go to Uptown CBD to explore the buildings, the impressions of the city. So this is Uptown Arusha CBD. There are lots of hotels in this area of town. We are now approaching the historical clock tower of Arusha. This landmark clock tower has an interesting background. It is believed that the Arusha clock tower is located exactly between Cairo and Cape Town and is considered to be the center point of the three countries of Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania. So we really wanted to explore the Tanzanite Museum, but this place was closed by the time we had arrived, so we didn't manage to go through this. Yeah, next time. We are now along Fire Road, walking towards the Masai Market. We're just trying to see if we can locate Masai Market. They know people come here. So we are right now we are at Masai Market, Curious and Crafts. We managed to locate the market. Let's check in what they got. The Masai Market is located near the Arusha Clock Tower. And it has more than a hundred stalls that sell local art, souvenirs, and jewelry. This is a mass visit if you're coming to Arusha. Our city tour continues. Aurora Tourism Center. This is one of the landmarks in the CBD. So we are now at Arusha International Conference. We have ESC Road where we have the East Africa Community Parliament, Naura Springs Hotel. So that marks the end of our day touring the city of Arusha. And we decided to reward ourselves with a street delicacy, roasted maize. It was so delish. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Thank you for supporting this channel. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.